Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at some conceptual problems involving friction. So I'll just tell you these problems are going to involve kinetic friction, which is Fk, and the equation is Fk equals mu k times the normal force. I could have also asked static friction. If I asked for static friction, the equation is Fs is less than or equal to mu s times the normal force, and that comes into play whenever our object is not moving. Okay, so let's go ahead and try these. I encourage you to think about these, pause the video before you actually just look at my solutions. So for this problem, I have a mass, mass M like this. I am going to be pulling it with a force F and there's going to be a frictional force behind me, Fk. Technically, we also have Mg going down and a normal force Fn going up. So I have this picture going on here with all my forces. And for each of these, I'm gonna change one thing about the problem, and you're gonna tell me, do you think the friction increased, decreased, or stayed the same? So for part A, I want to know what will happen to the friction force if I double the pulling force, that F right here. So if I double the pulling force, what will my new friction be? Go ahead, think about it, and when you wanna see the solution, unpause the video. Okay, so here's the solution. If I'm doubling the pulling force, that means I now have 2F, but we know the equation for kinetic friction, Fk, is only dependent on two things. It's dependent on mu k, the coefficient of friction, and we're dependent on the normal force Fn. If I pull harder, that's not going to change either of these variables, meaning Fk stays the same for part A. Part B, what if I pull this box at an angle? Doesn't really matter what the angle is, just the fact that I'm pulling it at some angle, maybe like this. So go ahead, think about it, and when you're ready to see the answer, unpause the video. Okay, so for this one, before I say the answer, let's just kind of walk through it with the reasoning, because honestly, I, I care more about the reasoning than the actual answer. So first we are gonna use the same equation, Fk equals mu k times the normal force, and we're asking if either of these variables changed. If I'm pulling at an angle, of course that doesn't change mu k, because that only depends on the surface, the coefficient of friction. And if I'm pulling at an angle, that is going to affect my normal force. How so? Because if we think about where normal force comes from, it comes from F net in the y direction is equal to all the forces going up, so Fn plus the force, the y component of force, of the pulling force, minus forces going down, mg equals mass times acceleration, which is zero in this case because we're not going up and down. And because we're introducing this Fy that wasn't there before, it basically makes the normal force smaller, so the normal force is now smaller, which then makes the frictional force smaller. And that's the answer when I pull at an angle. Now for part C, I'm going to stand the box up vertically. And I wanna know how does this influence the frictional force? So go ahead, pause the video. Shouldn't take you that long. And here's the solution. So let's just imagine for a second that this box is standing up vertically. So now it's like this. Literally we have the exact same forces going on it. Force to the right, friction force to the left, gravity pointing down, and a normal force pointing up. Nothing changed there. The only question I have for you is, does the coefficient of friction change if the surface area is smaller? Because we are decreasing the surface area. And the answer is, no, it doesn't matter. That's still the same, which means the friction force is still the same. Okay, just two more for you. Part D, I am going to double the mass of my object. And I wanna know, will this increase, decrease, or stay the same for the friction force? Okay, and the answer is doubling the mass will increase the friction force. The reason why, going back to the equation, Fk equals mu k times the normal force. Mu k stays the same, because that only depends on the surface. And Fn is going to increase, and the reason why is because normal force is dependent on the force of gravity. So when you increase the mass, you're increasing the weight, which means you're increasing the normal force. Long story short, the friction force is going to increase for this example. And then just one more for you, I promise. Part E, 
we're going to move this box to an ice rink. And if you can't get this one right, then I'm worried for you. And so here's the answer. The answer is when I move it to an ice rink, again, same equation, mu k times the normal force. Ice has a lower coefficient of friction, which means my overall friction is going to go down. It decreases. And that was the most obvious one of all. So hopefully you got that one right. And that's all the examples I have today. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. Maybe you want to ask another scenario, like if you double this or shorten that, and I'd be happy to answer your question. So have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.